Generally sounds plastic. Not in this guitar. Look at this. Very strange in the in the flamenco guitar because that was not there with the bone saddle here and here. And we prefer always to 
have the Sejilla, but this is very innovative. And of course, the, the action, the digital has all, all over. The action is just the harmonious equation between the line that the top draws, the line that the fragment draws, and the line that the string draws. So the four here, if I put pinky finger on the last fret and finger one here, there will be some inconsistencies on guitars which are not straight because all this is what is called clavado, sinking the, the the very setting of the guitar. Or you know, that's what I'm saying. That you place this finger here, and finger one here, the last fret and the first. And then in between there should not be distance there. But that also has to be in harmony with the top. Because if this is like this, there is no distance, but still it's, it's too high. Let's say this is the thing. You know, Maestro Samoy explained that uh, the pack is relevant to guitars, of course. And this is relevant because the sound actually it bounces the stone, it bounces on the, reflects the sound of the wood. And therefore, out of three varieties, we can say, yeah. roughly, most, uh, from female guitar, mild male, like this, which is it's also female, really speaking, it's not a pure negra, I mean, like a Brazilian rosewood, pure negra, dark, bass tone, but this is in between both frequencies. This was Pac also, because by his experiments with Brazilian rosewood to create the negra, he also ordered some guitars of, of Indian rosewood, which is very similar to these woods, to the Brazilian cherry and, and other woods, similar, you know, of a call and all what is in that frequency. So in the case of this guitar, it's very specific because these are made on pairs. One has the sides clear and the back dark, and this has the back clear and the sides dark. So it's the, the opposite. And this is the perfect sound for a, for, a, for a female sound, which would never be matching any so-called cypress sound. The guitars have 24 frets, so we need to learn to play there in that song. But still, this is a very innovative feature because in AG, because uh, full body guitars have no 24 frets, so this gives you chance to get the, the register of four octaves complete one one two three and four perfect in tune because this fretboard is really accurate meaning that the placement of the frets is always shorter 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 like that while in other guitars effective fretboards meaning which, which will not tune, of course, we can see, like in this here, for instance, you observe, just like with naked eye, you can notice that the 10th fret, the eastern fret, is bigger than the previous one. This space is bigger than the previous one. And so in the 14, this 14th fret is also bigger, has bigger space here than on the 13th. So then therefore, this means that it will not tune, that's one thing. Then also, unevenness on the tone of the, 
of the guitar because of the fact that when we play open, you know, for example, guitar we usually, said years ago, we, we prefer to play with the capo. There were guys who were eternally with the capo on the first fret or second, including Paco sometimes had in the first, because why? It sounds brighter with the cejilla, with the capo, than without. Why? Because this dull thing, <laughs> uh, uh, bone left-hand saddle and bone right-hand saddle, which means when you play open string, uh, it will have bone and bone. And then anything here, anything else you play in the fretboard, apart from being out of tune, it will be metal, combination of metal and bone. Right? But not, not an open string. So therefore, sound is not even. This is one problem. Besides being out of tune, and of course, well, this guitar, of Eladio Fernandez, the, the, the older brother of Gerundino, nada menos, is a, a very fine guitar from 1942. Well, it's the institution of guitar. In fact, it's a separate guitar. But, in fact, we can see that there are plenty of great substitutes for, for, the, for the female sound, like including this kind of ash. And this would also, which is called also um, Jovita or Brazilian cherry. And this is one of the, of the favorite woods to do that, to do a, to do a sound, create sound, which is female, because it's not a, a pure negra, but it's very, very much superior to, to any Cypress guitar, of course. Simplicio had this, not brilliant, but Stradivarius idea to challenge the, in the 20s, challenge the center sample <laughs> school of Madrid. And nobody bought, he made nine of these, nobody bought them, the, them the guitars. Big mistake, just check the description, I will post the link of the Harrison Foundation, and you will see this is two million dollars each one, like that. Because this was a great, uh, discovery that the, the, the amount of, of wood on the top we have here is, is so much more top to vibrate. While well, this zone is not important, if we do the whole here, simply so far, believe that this was a defect actually, a, a basic to start problem. And I agree. Of, of course, I played 30 years, simple sample with that, but not anymore. Because the, the tridimensional uh, possibility here with the trebles, bass, and lateral sound port is just some parallel what you can do mic with microphones or any way you play it also. This guitar sounds actually louder, far. If I play the same strength here. Some surrounding thing here, so it's, it's not just about the acoustics, but even in, even in experiments uh, which were done back then, uh, there were some quite revolutionary people in Barcelona at the time, like of course Gaudí, Salvador Dalí, and this guy. One of, those. of course, you may may not have seen it <laughs> before because the Madrid school tried to put down this, this guy, of course, because this is, this is the challenge to the Spanish guitar. So if you have any problem of communication or you feel you want to talk more, just get one and then immediately people will ask you, uh, oh wow, how, how, how strange is this sample? What is this? Is this a guitar? <laughs> because they are used just to, it's a nice way of communication to break the ice, you know. Then another thing is about the tuning. Which here you can really play like a like a perfect piano thing.
almost all, all the fretboard is so accurate. Let's see this thing, this is never seen. Actually, for it's very light, the, the left hand, and of course, these tuning pegs, the Whitner pegs, have to be there because this is so much superior to the regular machine head. Not only, but from the side of vibration, these are connected directly to the to the vibration of the neck. The neck is also important. Remember, Torres said that only the top matters and the back and sides do not matter. That's not true. All their followers get hooked with that. <laughs> but there are plenty of proof that this is not true. And nor the Madrid school of, of, of guitar making is the only school. Or whatever, very respectable people like Romanius or other personalities who got a lot of knowledge from the traditional Madrid school of guitar making, meaning Torres, the guy who wrote you know, the Torres book, he saw so he speaks English well, and he went to, I think, to England to live. But the, the, the point is that Torres made a guitar with, with carbon, with carbon, with uh, rock paper, paper, <laughs> back and sides and put a nice top. And then the guitar sounds pretty nice. It's a, in a museum and that, that he to prove that only the, the top matters. But that is not actually true. Because if you combine woods, you will see that the sound is, it reflects the sound in a different way when we have a guitar like this. Right? This is a not balanced guitar because it's female, of course. And there's no problem because it's very light. It's not, not so, so thick. It has the flag of Spain on the bridge. And the perfect. <laughs> Which Simplicio also did in, in. I think he put a bigger flag actually. But tuning capacity is very important to tune well. Things too, so that's incredible. Guitar, like woman, is a difficult to tame instrument. This is different than piano and other thing. In fact, one of the reasons, very true, and, and they are right if you think about uh, some orchestra conductors were against getting the guitar inside the, uh, the instruments of the Philharmonic Orchestra or symphonic orchestra, like people ask why, why the violin is there and the guitar is not there. Well, several reasons there are. First of all, there were many Spanish guitars around which do, did not tune, because even now, I am willing to say it because I tried everything in my life and so many years, and there is no one guitar which tunes properly here in Spain except this. Why? Because of the new revisited two times. Uh, fret space calculation, which this is just so important. In fact, back even in 2013 or 12, back I said, well, this is amazing. But let's see if we don't have now become used to raw tuning. Because I was thinking I was becoming crazy, couldn't tune. You know the story that his brother tuned it for him and all that. Because there were strings bad made. <laughs> we tried every set of strings of everything. You know, Paco discovered. Another amazing thing, I have to wait that he died to say it because he, he, he said, don't, don't tell anyone, this is, no one, just I'm telling you, but uh, then I, I said it uh, to when he died, because this is a very important thing and it's something people take for granted, but if you place your, your index finger on the second string and the middle on the first and pull, just feel the tension of these two strings, every set of the strings is uh, not matching. It's, it's wrong, actually. That's why Paco was afraid to say it because it, it sounds hard. It sounds no one. Every set of strings has an, a big gap on balance in tension between the second and the first. There is no way that you can say this. This is because you know it is okay. Or it was always like that. No, 
Paco said, this is, no, I want to have the same tension in every string. So he was having to use extra high tension, second string, and then a middle tension, maybe the first two, to justify, to kind of, of balance that thing, and it still was not balanced. Now, thanks to also Aquila strings and to Mimo Perufo, who designed, well, he designed it as a homage for Paco, and I helped to create that, that sound of the strings. Uh, or a, a very balanced thing, which except for the first that we I personally don't use because I use other other first. It's the first time that you can use pretty much the the whole set except the first string of one set. You know, Paco was very particular about this and was using sometimes every string from from other brand <laughs> because every every brand has a nice string. So we tried the strings that didn't tune and and then put it on fretboards which are wrong and then they were better that, than when you use strings which tune well on, 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 on wrong fretboards it will just come out all the problems, I don't know, crazy things with, with the strings. So therefore, if you want to save time and get, get used to the perfect tuning In this case, it may sound so great here because this tune is uh, stop. This stop, this stop is tuning in, in G sharp. So every every guitar has its strength and its weakness. It's not possible, just like woman. Isn't it? That's why it has the same shape. It's not coincidence. And every sound of the fretboard will be stronger in one guitar than in the other. So the four pack of had 30 of everything, but we don't know, who knows what. Every Santos, also three or four of these, and then Scanfield, all the guitars, with which he recorded and, and played his inspiration, and then choose different guitars for different things, because one guitar will have, if I have to play a solo over this section, then I choose a guitar that is strong there, right? Makes sense. So the, but the problem of tuning was solved only until, you know, I have 40 years playing guitar, and it's, it's until now, it came so late, but, well, God knows why. <laughs> uh, I identify a lot with the sound of, of, the, of the Simplicio idea, to divide trebles and bass set, and then create a clear distinction between God, it has a lot of projection, the top is fantastic, and this is really, to me, so much superior than the center sample. I, I quit that. I cannot play anymore, actually. Ebony fretboards, too hard for me. I, the other day I tried in a party of friends bring guitars of all type, all kinds, and I, I feel this is, is I'm right becoming old or, or I don't know what happens, but I get used to the EC. You know, one gets used easily to, 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 to good things <laughs> and in fact this is all about experience because after all any perception you have will, be, will depend only on the, on the experience you have had about that uh, if, if I am used to, to listen to plastic treble strings or plastic second or third string then for me this is normal they will say what are you saying this is normal but it's not normal once you know what is <laughs> superior right and then, and then of course it's the second string is symptomatic of, of quality in the treble. Right. First, is diff it's a different way to test it. But the second, because the frequencies of the guitar itself. It is not soprano, we are talking about short scale guitars or that. Which, by the way, now my friend, the great student, great learner, uh, Ricky Johnson, is, he, he ordered a, a, the opposite to the, <laughs> to the short scale guitar because he's a big guy. And then now I'm very curious to see what, what results with a big guitar. But this here is the standard, a, sm a smaller size, which is, is good for everyone. And of course, this uh, rosette of wood is also something else. It has so much, so many different things. The fretboard, for instance, is made 
this is just in 2020, like this guitar, is made on three parts, three pieces of, of wood. Look. This, this, and this. That's why sometimes this tiger line does not coincide, the flame thing does not, does not coincide. So in the central part there is one piece, and in the extremes there is other pieces. And this, of course, this is genius revolutionary ideas, which were, were never done before. A fretboard made of three parts. The, the, the subtlety of it is just amazing. And of course this changed the way that the neck reacts, because in guitar everything is interactive. Forget about the top only being important. Everything resonates, the, the, the head is very important. That's why these pegs are the real thing, Whitner pegs. Because tune perfectly and you can have direct contact with the wood. Which in flamenco before, preferred guitars had this, this wooden peg, but were a nightmare to tune. And now, now you can really tune it. Same one octave of this fretboard's top most accuracy. I never seen so much accuracy, except for Hauser or other great German guitar, of course. Do you remember Paco was inspired to create the Flamenco Negra because of the Hausers he saw? <laughs> yeah, the Germans have very good qualities, and one of them is exactly to exactness. And in fact, he never said that he had the right division because the, the, the mathematical calculation or formula with which you divide this, create these spaces here to, to go precisely to, to smaller, smaller until here. That is the thing if you want to tune well. Because when, when these things happen, like this 10th fret, being bigger than this. And every, you, if you check any guitar, especially if it is expensive, just check it. If, if you want to sleep well, don't do it. Because it will be a bit shocking what you have paid for. Because when you just need to see frontal the guitar, and then when these this inconsistencies will come, there are many. There is not only one. I pointed out this one of the 14th fret, as we have the 13th, but here you can see at the very beginning that the Four fret is also, yeah, the four fret is bigger, this space, than this space. So what does it mean? It means it will not tune. But guess what? If you get used to that, then this is your reference of tuning. Right? Of course it will be impossible to do an octave chord. What octave? Here is just everything wrong. And this especially in bad and expensive guitars is there. So like this one, which is the so, this guitar was just any guitar. This is a $20,000 guitar made in 1942 by the older brother of Gerundino. So, if this guitar has problems, then what to speak of any other inferior instrument to that? And as opposed to, to that dark side of, of, the, of the things, uh, in AG you have the advantage that any, any guitar, even from the from the economic model of, of 1,000 bucks up anything from the beginning to the end. It has a perfect fretboard now. This is the, the, the second time they, that they, they revisit it. Here the strings are good. The strings will be put to test. Doesn't tune is very noticeable because the fretboard is right. But if your fretboard is wrong, how do you know if, if you are tuning well? This tuning thing is just so complex because it, it involves your habit, the, also the, the training you have, ear training capacity, how much you can perceive things as, as out of tune. So people say, Why don't you hear? I don't listen to anything wrong, and it's just totally, you know. And guitar is unstable, you need to keep tuning it all the time. In fact, we spend half of our life tuning and the other half thinking we already tune. 
Paco was becoming crazy with this, but but he he got relieved when I showed the the plans and all the, all this thing back in 2013. And these engineers were creating these different calculations how to get perfect tuning on, on this 12th division, which is even um, naturally could, we could say. Uh, Problematic or debatable, <laughs> I don't know what to say, because uh, the well tempered instruments are, are themselves already a subject of discussion. So, what to speak if you, if you made them wrong? Then, then, hello, good luck with that, and you, you really are in trouble, right? Because, because you cannot get a proper. Proper re reference of, 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 of what, what should be sounding. Before, well, you know, when I was a child, they said, Esa guitarra miente. Which means they were saying, This guitar lies. <laughs> because lie means that, that you press here and this is not A. Right? Press here and this is not A flat. It's, it's, it's another thing, which is not even one or the other, what happens with those. And well, after many years, I, thanks God, I, I got my my uh, instrument solution, and thanks to AG, of course, because before uh, I, I, I could not imagine that someone would do such a marvelous thing like this D shape, simplicity number one, uh, getting all this space for, for the top to vibrate, and of course, getting the top so much uh, more uh, percussive and, and, and so eligible to be. Punch there and play it and respond. The, the, the level of response that this instrument has compared to, to, a, to a set of samples is just. And then this is made, of course, in pairs, as I said before. And one has. This is two pairs. And this is a very nice, nice guitar. So thank you very much for letting me do this small review about a fantastic instrument. Many congratulations to AG and to all their loyal customers and people who who really is after research because AG exists really more as a research uh, company or, or drive force than as a business thing because here the intention is not to sell but to, to, to investigate and to really uh, dig into what string instruments uh, may need to become how the sound is related to playability and how, how to, to playability meaning how easy to play the guitar is because if the guitar is easy to play look at this song it's a pure tone so anytime I do that I sound pure and this is my reference therefore if I pick other things I say ew what is that Right. But but if you are used to it, so therefore the habit, this is what we have to be careful. In fact, when Paco said that, I was also scared because <laughs> he said, well, we were playing 20 years or 30 years guitars that do not tune. So now what? He said this. Now we are just... But well, on the other side, this is a good, good argument, but on the other side, well, the plasticity of the brain is... is also amazing, and you can get used to many things. You can get used to be in a room without light or in Hawaii, the, the, the beach. Many things can be op opposite things. So for me, only thing that I at the end of my of my of my play, because I have thirty years playing, then it came my guitar. I, I didn't choose it or go to try it. It came to me <laughs> because I happened to be helping this marvelous team of, of research about music, uh, string musical instruments from the time of Amati, the guru of Stradivarius and Stradivarius and, and, and Jesu de Guarneri and anyone else who has modified the instrument or in fact, you know Paganini, big, uh, such a great player, even the morphology of the instrument which was a, a, a Jesu de Guarneri uh, violin. Uh, have modifications because of the way of playing and if you want to study modern technique of violin you have to do this, the, the Paganini thing. So similarly Paco did so many changes in flamenco and one of them uh, is referring to the morphology of the instrument 
because of the balance aspect of, of the guitars I show, which are balanced. Well, this is not, but I don't have a problem. My favorite guitar is also not balanced, but I do have also the balance. I understand why, if, if you play in, a, in, a, in an horizontal posture, it's so comfortable to have. Because here, ergonomics and how you feel easy to, that when you, when you just grab the guitar in the hand, it is a liberating experience. Yeah, instead of a torture, the, oh my god, here what I will do. For Pupac was always compensating, <laughs> turning down the second with the capo here, like doing tricks to, to try to come to a compromise. This creates anxiety. If you would, of course, if we would do a performance, I don't know how you could do it every day for 20 years, but the fact is that uh, when you need to have an instrument that can bring you to this platform that when you just grab it just by, by holding it that is a liberating experience